And I think the rate at which things are going is like actually kind of scary because, like, with the rise of now deep fakes, dead internet. Yeah, <laughs> break that down because actually I I want to know if I think what the dead internet theory is. Yeah, and if it matches to what you're yeah. saying. So from my understanding, because um, I think this is great. Well, it's terrifying, but it's also like yeah. uh, the stuff's so interesting. Yeah. It's like as bots, essentially it's bots, but AI as well is a big part of this, become more and more prevalent, higher and higher portion of the engagement with it, its comments and even now like content being produced have like very little to no human involvement. Yep. And you can see this now on Twitter. You probably start to see this now on Reddit, like places where it's very easy for bots to be doing a lot of the engagement because it's just yep. text. But like soon you won't, you're like, you'll be, they've been, fuck, <laughs> you'll be on the internet and you'll be like reading all this content, watching all this stuff and yep. maybe 1% of it will be made by humans and eventually the, what they're saying is like tends towards zero. Yep. There'd be no, you, the internet is dead because yep. there's no humans on the internet. But it's like real comments and you can't tell yeah yeah that's the thing like the example that could be across everything yeah Yeah. which is the scary part the example that stood out to me (laughs) (laughs) the the example that stood out to me was like it'd be like so i'm on x twitter unfortunately and a lot of the a lot of the tweets there are like kind of like uh, some of them that blow up are like just playing off the fact of like it's rage beat and like Mm. obviously now with like the rise of the u.s election blah 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 so, so a lot of the... Oh, the election uh, stuff's yeah. crazy about yeah. this. Yeah. I saw one tweet and it was like somebody, some senator and he was saying something about like immigrants policy, blah, blah, blah. And it had more replies than likes cats. or retweets. And all, <laughs> all the replies were just like, oh, I'm a Mexican mother and I, I actually agree oh, with yeah. the sentiment. But it, they all had like a very similar profile photo. Mm. Like not the same person, but the same it's style. the Russians, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like they all had the same sentiment, and it was yeah. like, "Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm actually an immigrant from here. I actually mm. agree with this." Mm. And like it's, as a, as an average person that's going through that, you're like, "Oh, okay, maybe it's actually not that bad of an argument if mm. he, if he's got the people that he's targeting, yeah. supporting what he's saying." Social proof has always been a huge part of any marketing, but especially politics, where yeah. like they put out a policy, you look at the comments, and like because politicians are pretty far away from real people. Yep. Um, unfortunately but if you look at the comments people are like oh like so they all these interesting takes but yeah if it's all bots then people are just getting like yeah. spiraled by the shit and that's why like that was the whole thing like the election interference like bot yeah. farms for years in russia and stuff or wherever yeah. trying to infl- like even in the states itself um influencing the election yeah. with just fake accounts do you think there's more bots than real accounts now on twitter on social media uh if anywhere, if if there's any channel where there's more bots, social accounts is Twitter yeah. than the human accounts. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the you other channels. You think it's channels. like 50-50 or? I think it's probably more, like I, th- I think it's significantly way more than the average person would think. Yeah. But I'm pretty certain, like I'm like 80%, but yeah. maybe that's too high. Mm. Like yeah. if you look, just go through your feed and looked at all the comments and all those posts. Yeah. I think that 80% of their content but I'm like very cynical. Yeah, yeah. That's all my DM requests. That's all. Like I get excited when I see a girl in my DM. Oh, 100% request. of your DMs are yeah. AI. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? No, she said she was real. <laughs> no, yeah. And um, and again, like, bro, like everything on the surface looks realistic. Yeah. It looks authentic. Yeah. The message also looks like to it extent, comes from yeah. a human. Some of them are real bad. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. But like now they're getting to a point where like, damn this girl actually is in love with me or like it'd be like the ones i have is like recently it it's like a random girl that hits me up it looks like a normal account mm. like relative following relative follower ratio and she was like oh my friend here likes you blah, 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 at blah 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 mm. and they're all sending me to that one account yeah and that is fucking like terrifying. this very this very legitimate like Legit, I guess yeah, this is legitimate like uses for this as well for people that don't have the best English yep. or even people that can't speak or write well uh, there's some really interesting examples like there was one I saw like real wholesome ages ago like probably around when ChatGPT first came out like some guy had made this app some like some young guy had learning disabilities and his mate made it an app so like he was mowing lawns yeah. for people yeah. and like 
he was he made him an app so that he could professionally communicate with the people he was mowing the lawns for without yeah. like throwing them off by just like bad grammar bad like yeah. understanding and also just being understood like <laughs> this is like a weird example but like i have some freelancing clients um just on the side like you know like websites or shopify or whatever yeah and like they'll hit me up sometimes and like they're business people so they're just in these like real half-baked messages and like these aren't these are smart people but i'm yeah. like dude what the fuck are you talking maybe about maybe the bots so, are i take yeah i take these comments and I'm like bro chibi what does this guy want from me because i cannot and like i'd probably figure it out yeah. after if i pick the phone maybe like spend five minutes staring at his message being like what like is yeah. they just brain dumping or what yeah, yeah. like I, it's really useful yeah it's decoding like hieroglyphics yeah think, yeah um there's also like this is so completely unrelated but i'm just avoiding the topic of wrangler if you want to know about wrangler your attention please find it there but there's this fucking tiktok that i'm seeing recently and it's fucking killing me and it's basically like so let's say i'm acting like i'm a foreigner and yeah. i'm like i just landed in new zealand okay and i'm asking somebody where the directions are like to the nearest park mm. so you're you're in public i come up to you and i'm like i have like google translate mm. and i'm like playing it in english but i'm saying it in like yeah my own language and then whatever you'd say, I'd like put into Google Translate, but it's a pre-recorded video of Google Translate saying like some crazy shit back to me. Mm. And it's like, shut up, you fucking... Da, 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 da. And they, the panic on their face is so fucking funny, bro. And that's it. But yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I feel like I want to do that. We need to be thinking about like what's coming and how we can make use of that it's like where every business owner yeah. or every person who's interested in this stuff needs to be thinking is like yeah. it's easy to get caught up in like what's happening right now but like where are we going like these smarts like smart speakers have been like of i would say overhyped for a while in terms yeah. of like their importance to search and stuff because like not everyone's really using them that often but like second you overlay ai into siri or whatever like it's so much better and like people aren't gonna you're not gonna type stuff in a google anymore in my opinion no. like you're just gonna no. yeah does that mm. even like spotify playlists like I, I got a push notification last night spotify was like um push push this thing to me it's like yeah. you just tell it like type into the chat and then and what you want yeah and make a playlist yeah. and i tried it out and like yeah. it was pretty good i, this, <laughs> I was like you walk into a t-shirt store. Yeah. There's four t-shirts. Three hundred. The, they're all three hundred dollars each. Yeah. Inexplicably, there's a DJ. Yeah. <laughs> What's on the DJ's playlist? <laughs> and, it, and it pumped out this like yeah. it, it was like eclectic mix. It was yeah. like lo-fi hip hop and like. Yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah. Um. There's this funny thing on Spotify where like if you search mix, I don't know if how but if it's for you, but DJ X. No, if you just search mix on Spotify. Yeah. It gives you like the craziest names. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, is that your daily mix? Daily is that what mixes, you mean? Like, yeah, like if yeah. You just yeah. search mix. My first mix is Giat mix, and then it's standing on business mix, and then it's freaky mix, and Riz mix, battle royal mix, underground mix, escape is a mix. I oh. got R and B mix, and then creamy mix. Whoa! <laughs> standing it's in on the business morning, guys. Mix. Bouncy mix. It's. <laughs> Late night mix? Why does Spotify think I'm so thirsty? What are you up to? Are you sure you're angry up to driving the- mix? <laughs> Rage mix? <laughs> Relaxing intimate mix? Whoa. Sad crying mix? Yeah. Okay, fuck this guy. Right. With that being fuck said, guys, thank you so much for tuning to the podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>